hello today i'm going to show you how to use a google slide for assignments we have received so many questions about annotating pdfs and this is a workaround that you can use with your students in canvas the first thing i did was set up my google slide to the size of a regular sheet of paper so i customized it and now i'm going to go to the pdf that i would probably use in the classroom. So what I'm going to do is take a screenshot of this PDF. I'm going to select what I actually want to capture and then save it to my desktop. Now I will go back to my Google slide and I'm going to click on background. I want this to be a background image because it won't move and I won't have to worry about uh, students messing up formatting or anything like that. So I found the screenshot that I just took. And I'm gonna click done. Now in a perfect world, I probably would reformat this to make this match up with the size and everything, but we're just gonna keep moving on. So the next thing I'm going to do is select the text box. The text box will allow students to type in their answers. So usually in the classroom, you would have had students complete this cause and effect graphic organizer on paper using pencil, um, but due to our remote learning at this time, we're just trying to adapt. So now with the text box, the students will have the ability to type. Now that we have created our Google slide, I'm going to copy my link and I'm gonna head on over to Canvas. I'm going to paste the link here so we can find it and the submission type is going to be an external tool. And I'm going to use the Google Assignments. If you are very familiar with Google Classroom, Google Assignments is very similar. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach the graphic organizer that I just created in Google Slides. And now my students, when I assign this to everyone, they will all get their own copy, which means you don't have to change the link at the end to copy. Each student will have their own, and now they'll be able to type on it. I'm going to create the assignment. Once again, it is a Google assignment. So now, but when I go to my assignments, I'm going to go ahead and publish it. So now I can go back home, go into student view. When I go into student view and I look at assignments, I can look at this graphic organizer. See here, when the student clicks on the file, each student will get a copy. They can open it up. And they now have the ability to type on the graphic organizer. I hope this helps you.